how to create a X-ray reality proxy using Amnesia self-hosted VPN and an Ubuntu cloud server or virtual private server VPS. In this video, we'll start off by creating a virtual private server. The hosting provider of choice is going to be DigitalOcean. Once we have created our VPS, we'll then install the Amnesia VPN client. We will then use this client to install X-ray reality protocol on our DigitalOcean cloud server. Following this, we'll connect to our proxy and then check our IP address at whatismyipaddress.com. It should reflect the IP address of your DigitalOcean VPS. Okay, so let's start off by creating our virtual private server. Navigate to the following URL address. This URL address is my referral link to DigitalOcean and it will give you $200 in free DigitalOcean cloud credits to try out their servers free for 60 days. I'll put my referral link in the video description below and as a card at the top right hand corner of this video. If you don't already have a DigitalOcean account, you'll need to sign up either with email, your GitHub account or your Google account. Now I already have a DigitalOcean account, so I'm simply going to click on sign in. Once you have created your DigitalOcean account and signed in, you'll be taken to the DigitalOcean control panel. To create a DigitalOcean cloud server to install Amnesia on, navigate to the green button here that says create and click on it. Look for where it says droplets at the very top here, which is what DigitalOcean calls its cloud servers and click on it. Choose a region for your droplet. This region will be reflected when you connect to the Amnesia VPN. So I'm going to be going with Singapore. You have a number of regions here that you can select from. Once you've chosen your region, scroll down until you see where it says choose an OS. Click on the OS tab if it already isn't pre-selected, click on Ubuntu and then choose the version of Ubuntu by clicking on this arrow and selecting the latest L LTS version of Ubuntu. At the time of recording of this video, it's 24.04 LTS x64, so I'm going to click on this to select it. Scroll down until you see where it says choose size. For your Amnesia VPN, you can roll with the droplet type of shared CPU. It's unnecessary to go with the dedicated CPU if you're just creating the Amnesia VPN for yourself and a few others, or just for yourself. Underneath it says CPU options, you can roll with the regular, and it comes with a disk type of SSD. Again, you can roll with the premium CPU if you want, and it also comes with an NVMe SSD but of course keep in mind it is more expensive. Scroll down until you see a list of plans. Now Amnesia VPN can run on the $6 a month plan or the 1GB slash 1 CPU plan. However, Amnesia VPN recommends the 2GB plan, which of course gives you 2GB of RAM, 1 CPU, 50GB of SSD disk space, and 2TB of transfer. So I'm going to be rolling with this one as it's recommended. Of course, you can roll with the 1GB, which is the cheaper option if you want. Once you've done that, scroll down until you see where it says choose authentication method. Click on password and then create a root password for your DigitalOcean droplet. Make sure your password meets the following password requirements. So I'm just going to enter my password in now. Continue to scroll down all the way to the bottom until you see where it says host name. Here you'll need to give your digital ocean droplet a name. So I'm going to delete what's pre-typed in here and I'm going to call my droplet amnesia dash VPN. Once you've given your droplet a name, simply click on create droplet. DigitalOcean will then begin creating your droplet. I'll be back with you once the progress bar reaches to the end here. Okay, I'm back. Our DigitalOcean droplet has now been set up and that is indicated by the green status symbol here. You can see the IPv4 address right here. Next, what we're going to do is install the Amnesia VPN client. Open up another tab and navigate to the following URL address. This URL address is my referral link to Amnesia VPN and it'll take you to Amnesia Premium. So if you ever decide that self-hosting Amnesia isn't for you, then you can choose to go with Amnesia Premium. Now, if this URL address doesn't work in your country because your country has blocked Amnesia VPN, then you can navigate to my other referral link right here, which is a mirror link and is uncensored. Only use this mirror link if you cannot access the main link. So I'm going to go back to my other tab here to my first referral link and I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard. Look for where it says downloads and click on it. Now you'll be on the download Amnesia VPN client page. As you can see, we've got Windows, Mac OS, iOS, Android, Linux, and GitHub. Now I'm on Windows, so I'm going to click on Windows here, and then I'm going to click on Download. You select the appropriate operating system for your device. I'll be back with you once the download completes. Okay, I'm back. The Amnesia VPN.exe file has been downloaded. I'm on Google Chrome. If you're on a different browser, it will be similar. Navigate to the top right-hand corner and click on the Downloads icon. Look for the Amnesia Client Windows Installer and click on it. The Amnesia VPN setup wizard will then open. Click next, then click on install. And then if you're on Windows, you'll be greeted with the following notification, which says user account control. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? You have the option to click on no or yes. Of course, if you want to install the Amnesia VPN client, you'll need to click on yes. The Amnesia VPN client will then begin installing. I'll be back with you once the installation has finished. Okay, I'm back. The Amnesia VPN client has now been installed. To open it, simply click on the minimize window here at the very bottom. And there we go. The Amnesia VPN client has now opened. Click on let's get started 
started. Now you have a number of connection options here. The one that we're going to be going with is called self-hosted VPN, which allows you to configure Amnesia VPN on your own server. Click on it to select it. Server IP address. So we'll need to enter the IP address of our DigitalOcean droplet. Go back to your browser and click on your DigitalOcean control panel and look for your droplet's IP address, which in my case is 128.199.108.173. Click on the copy text to copy the IP address. Open back up the Amnesia VPN client and paste in your droplet's IP address. The SSH username is going to be root. It will be the same for you. And then the password is the root password that you created for your DigitalOcean droplet. It can also be the SSH private key if you didn't select password. Now I created a root password, so I'm just going to enter my root password in here now. Once you have done that, click on continue. The Amnesia VPN client will then ask you to choose an installation type. You can roll with automatic, which installs Amnesia WG protocol, which is Amnesia's version of WireGuard customized. Now we want X-ray reality, so we're going to go with the manual installation type, which allows us to choose the VPN protocol. Click continue. You'll now be greeted with a VPN protocol list. Here you must choose the one VPN protocol of highest priority for you. Later you can sort other protocols and additional services. So as you can see, you've got Amnesia, WG, WireGuard, X-Ray, which is X-Ray Reality, OpenVPN over Cloak, OpenVPN over SS, which is Shadow Socks or Socks 5, and IPsec. Of course, we're going to be going with the X-Ray, so click on X-Ray, install an X-Ray. X-Ray with Reality masks VPN traffic as web traffic and protects against active probing. It is highly resistant to detection and offers high speed. You can click on more details if you want more details about the protocol. I'm going to click on close here to go back, and then we'll need to choose the port. I'm going to roll with 443, which is the default, and then I'm going to click on install. Install. Amnesia VPN with the protocol X-Ray Reality will begin installing on your DigitalOcean droplet. I'll be back with you once the installation has completed. All right, I'm back. The X-Ray Reality protocol has been installed on our DigitalOcean droplet. As you can see, it's called Server 1. It's the X-Ray protocol, and this is the IP address of our DigitalOcean droplet. You can check that by checking your DigitalOcean control panel and matching the IP address. So I'm just going to move the client out of the way here. And as you can see, the IP addresses are the same. Now, what I recommend doing before clicking the connect button here is renaming your server. Currently, it has a default name of server 1. Click on this drop down arrow. Click on the not icon here for settings and then click on the pencil icon at the very top. Click on server name and delete the pre typed information. I'm going to call my server Digital Ocean Space Singapore and I'm going to click on save. Once you've renamed your server, if you want, in the protocols tab, you can add additional protocols by clicking on the icon here to begin the installation process. You also have a number of services that you can install. So I'm just going to click on services just to show you what you can install on your server using the Amnesia VPN client. So you can install a website in Tor network, Amnesia DNS, SFTP file sharing service, and the SOX5 proxy server. If you click on the management tab, you've also got other options here, such as rebooting your server, removing server from application. This means the Amnesia VPN client or clearing the server from the Amnesia software. This refers to your digital ocean droplet. Just to give you more of a rundown, at the bottom here you can add another server. So for example, if you wanted to spin up another digital ocean droplet, let's say in Germany, you can repeat the process and add it to the Amnesia VPN client and choose a protocol. And then you've got X-ray reality on a different region. To the left here you've got settings. Here you've got a bunch of things you can manage such as your servers, your connection, application, backup, and so on and so forth. The share icon here, if I click on it, is in relation to users. Creating a user is very simple on the Amnesia VPN client. You simply choose a username. So for example, let's go with John. Choose your server. We only have one server called DigitalOcean Singapore. Choose your protocol. Again, we only have one protocol. And choose the connection format. So you can leave it as the Amnesia VPN app, which is this client, which is what the user will need to install. Or if you click on this arrow, they can use the X-Ray native format. Now each protocol has its own native application. However, they can all be used on Amnesia VPN. So I'm going to roll with the Amnesia VPN app and then simply click on share and then you'll get all the details required to connect this user to your Amnesia VPN X-Ray Reality server. So you can click on share here and then save the Amnesia VPN configuration file and then give them it or you can click on the copy button here which will copy the connection settings. So if I click on show connection settings you can see the connection settings that you have just copied that you can give them to connect. So I'm just going to go back here and finally you have the option to scan the QR code. So you can simply send them a screenshot of this QR code or they can scan it directly off your device and all they'll need to do is read the QR code in the Amnesia app, select add server, I have data to connect, 
QR code, key or settings file. Okay, I'm not going to show you how to connect using the Amnesia VPN config connection settings or the QR code, as this video is simply about setting up your Amnesia VPN with a protocol of your choice. However, in a future video, I'll show you how to create users or clients and show you as a client how they would connect using these options. So I'm just going to go back to my home tab here. So you can see it says split tunneling is disabled. So you can click on this arrow and you can decide if you want to enable split tunneling. So I'm not going to use split tunneling. So I'm just going to click on my home tab here. And finally, now we're going to connect to the Amnesia VPN X-ray reality protocol. To do this, simply click on the connect button here. The Amnesia VPN client will then begin connecting you to your Amnesia VPN server, which is your digital ocean droplet. Okay, so as you can see, it says connected. Let's check that. So I'm just going to minimize the Amnesia VPN client and I'm going to go to my other tab here. You want to navigate to the following URL address https colon slash slash what is my IP address dot com and hit enter on your keyboard. Once you've done that, underneath where it says my IP address for IPv4 address, you can see the IP address of your digital ocean droplet, which should also be the same IP address that is displayed in your Amnesia VPN client. So as you can see, it is the same. Now IPv6 is not detected because when we were creating our droplet in the advanced settings, we didn't check mark the box to enable IPv6. You could have done that if you wanted to, however, it is not necessary. And if we look further down, my IP information, you can see the ISP is Digital Ocean and the city, region and country is Singapore. And if we look towards the right hand side here, you can see a map of our current location. And this shows us that our Amnesia VPN X-ray reality server is running correctly and we are indeed connected. Okay, so that concludes this video on how to create a X-ray reality proxy using Amnesia self-hosted VPN and an Ubuntu cloud server or virtual private server VPS. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video.